Bovine tuberculosis is a really serious problem for cattle farmers in this country. Um, and it's important that any work that's done to try and combat that, it works. Uh, there have been some suggestions in the media that badger vaccination, which had looked quite promising, might actually be making cattle TB worse. It was claimed that when uh, badgers are vaccinated that they range more widely. Um, but that suggestion was made without any evidence. Uh, fortunately, we were tracking badgers in an area we were also vaccinating them, so we were able to compare the movements of badgers which were vaccinated with those which had not been vaccinated. Uh, we were actually in the process of investigating contact between badgers and cattle. We were trying to understand how TB is transmitted. And so we fitted both badgers and cattle with tracking collars, uh, which just told us where the badgers in this case were every 20 minutes, night after night. And so that allowed us to compare the movements of badgers which had been vaccinated with badgers which hadn't been vaccinated. We could also look at the impact of trapping badgers for vaccination. So we could say, for example, if this badger uh, is, has been trapped, are the neighbours more likely to come into its territory when it's unable to, to defend its territory? Or we could also say, if a badger's been sat in a trap overnight waiting to be vaccinated, maybe it hasn't been able to eat that night, maybe it's going to range more widely the next day. And so we were able to, to look at the impact, not just of badger vaccination, but also trapping to administer the vaccine. We found no evidence to suggest that badgers change their behaviour in response to vaccination or indeed in response to trapping, uh, which is really encouraging. Culling is very different. When you cull badgers, you do see this changes in ranging behaviour. Badgers which are have, it, living in an area where other members of their species have been culled range more widely. They uh, transmit disease more widely to one another and to cattle. We were able to show that uh, if there was any effect of vaccination, we couldn't detect an effect, but if there was any effect, it was significantly less than the effect of culling. So I think these findings are important for two reasons. Firstly, bovine tuberculosis is a terrible problem for Britain's farmers. Badger vaccination is a potentially promising tool to address that problem. And it's important that we see whether it's likely to be effective and our, our findings suggest, you know, build the evidence to suggest that this is something which might be helpful. But secondly, I think it's really important in terms of building trust. The management of TB is a very controversial issue. Uh, there concerns were raised within the farming industry and the veterinary profession that badger vaccination might actually make things worse instead of better. Happily, we've been able to counter those worries with scientific evidence, which hopefully will be reassuring that this is an approach which is very unlikely to make things worse uh, and hopefully could go some way towards making things better.